the all new, all different Marvel, <laughs> which I laughed out loud when I saw it because like this. is the same Iron Man generally. His eyes are a bit different. Uh, there's literally nothing. The name, title's the same. The character looks the same. There's literally nothing new or different about this besides slightly changed uh, comic or costume design. Uh, so, but let's go through and let's see how much there actually is that's new or different. And uh, there is some sort of following the the superior Spider-Man success, I think. They've been really pushing, sort of mixing characters up. Captain America gets really old. The new Captain America is black. You got Thor changing to a woman. You have all these sort of new different ideas and they're really trying to push that and uh, aim for diversity and stuff. And some of it's changing original characters around, which people generally don't like that much. Uh, and some of it's creating new characters like Kamala Khan's have been a huge success as uh, the new Miss Marvel. So. Uh, yeah, it's exciting to see what they're doing. I personally like it. I'm, I like new, fresh ideas. I don't like things to stagnate for too long. It's annoying when you do really like a story or a, or a team or a book and you feel like there's more story to be told and it's sort of cut off uh, ahead of time. But this day and age, like the change is what people want with image, comics and stuff. There's always these new number ones, new things coming. They got to kind of keep up because issues hit issue 20 30 40 50 and people generally drop it um if it's really good i you, people keep it i think but uh we're always looking for new different things and different takes on characters so uh, i don't mind it the new number ones it's kind of annoying in terms of the back issue issue market because like how hard is it going to be to figure out what the hell is the proper series or volume or whatever five ten years from now when there's new number ones every couple months um so let's just get into it real quick. So this looks like the newish Avengers team. Uh, again, not that new. You got uh, Spider three Spider-Mans now. So I'm really excited about Miles Morales coming in. That's been my favorite Spider-Man book uh, for the last while. Uh, it'd be great. You know, it'd be great all different if Dan Slott moved on. I don't mind Dan Slott at all. Uh, he's just been on it for a really long time and ready for a new take. Um, you got Ant-Man in there, Kamala Khan, female Thor uh agent colson the new uh spider woman costume there so four spider people so not nothing super fresh uh what do you got in here daredevil's got a new black costume uh female wolverine old man wolverine uh dr strange yeah nothing super super new in there a few in humans i have no idea who this is you can fill me in if you know that uh but let's get into the actual titles so Again, really funny, Invincible Iron Man number one is the cover picture for all new, all different. Very little new or different about it to me. Uh, maybe the storyline is taking a different take on it, but even the little preview, the little preview they show, there's really not that much new or different about it in my opinion. So uh, I'm not a huge Iron Man guy, so I probably won't pick that one up. A-Force, it's like an all-female Avengers team. Uh, should be pretty good. Charles Soule did a great job. Uh, pumping up She-Hulk there. She had a good run. And Miss Marvel, Carol Danvers has been popular. So this could be a, a pretty good take on the Avengers. I think it'd be an interesting title. I probably won't pick it up, uh, but I feel like it'll probably be a pretty popular title. Uh, over here on this side, you got the Avengers. Again, all new, all different. Looks to be along the lines of what they might want to push for future movies to me. So you got uh, Vision, who just showed up. Kamala Khan, who's been really popular. Miss Marvel. Because all these guys, Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, their contracts and all that are running out. After you do three or four movies, like, people start to get in disinterested. So I could see them changing it up. Someone else, like a female, takes on the Thor hammer. Uh, the Falcon takes over for Captain America. So I'm, I'm just think this seems like a total movie sort of setup, getting the universe ready. But that's not always a bad thing. I don't mind that. Uh, Old Man Logan number one. So the thing with Old Man Logan is what makes the book really great is that he's, it's the world he's in. It's Wolverine set in that world. Uh, so the character himself doesn't really interest me any more than regular Logan. So putting this character in the regular universe, um, I'm not sure how much I'll care. But, you know, they might find something interesting to do with the story. Maybe he's just a burnout and hates the world and is going around brooding and kicking ass or something. I don't know. 
and all new Wolverine. I I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. This looks ridiculous to me. Um, fine, fine with the female Wolverine or whatever. Someone taking over. I think that's um, you know her name. You're thinking of it right now. You're thinking of it right now. Her name is. That is what you're thinking. She's a clone of Wolverine. Uncanny Avengers number one. Um, they've had so many Avengers and X-Men books. It'd be nice if they sort of cleaned it up and just had a couple. Uh, Stegman on art here. He has that cartoony style. His Spider-Man looks pretty good though. I hate this fast forward sign on uh, Quicksilver there. That's ridiculous. But uh, Deadpool in there as well. So that's cool. It'd be nice to see Deadpool and the Avengers. Deadpool and Spidey on the team would be a lot of fun. Uh, looks like he's led by Old Man Captain America. So it'd be funny to see Old Man Captain America, Old Man Logan hanging out. Okay, I was bitching about too many Avengers title. Here's two more. The New Avengers and The Ultimate. So that'll be coming out the Ultimate Universe, I guess. You got Ultimate version of Carol Danvers. Uh, I don't know if these are all going to be characters from the Ultimate Universe. And New Avengers. Uh, I don't know. It looks like more of a youth title. It's weird son of hulk or something he's blonde hair looks like a boy band hulk uh yeah fine i don't know not that excited all right daredevil number one i've been loving the mark wade run really sad to see him go but you know if anyone's gonna take up the range charles soul uh is gonna do it looks like he's got gambit with him he's training up gambit to be uh his protege or something so excited to see his take on it the image kind of makes me nervous because I've really been enjoying the lighter side of uh, Mark Wade's run. Looks like he might be bringing it back to that darker, grittier side. I just don't, I don't mind a darker storyline. Um, what I don't like is the character constantly brooding and depressed and like, it just, I like him with the more positive attitude. Uh, like it's okay if bad shit happens in his life and he's got to deal with it. Uh, but I like the fun side of Daredevil. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Exact same movie team. Oh, it looks like a Venom and Thing in there as well. And I think that's Kitty Pride. I'm assuming, is taking on the, the female side of the leader of Star-Lord. Uh, so yeah, going on with that. That's Brian Michael Bendis on that, if you're a Bendis one. Okay, uh, this looks kind of fun. This is, uh, what's it called? Uh, Intergalactic Fight Club. Uh, and this is written by CM Punk with Colin Bunn. So CM Punk is like an ultimate fighter who's somehow connected with comics. I remember he he had a letter at the end of... All right, Captain Marvel and Doctor Strange. So Jason Aaron on Doctor Strange. Looks like he's got that axe that Thor's been using maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, but Jason Aaron on Doctor Strange is a book I might be interested in. Uh, and Captain Marvel, who we got Tara Butters and... Michelle Fazakis. I don't know anything about them as writers, but always good to see a new take on Captain Marvel. Sam Wilson, Captain America, and the Hulk number one. The only thing I've really read of Sam Wilson, Captain America, was uh, the Axis storyline, where he was like a total douchebag asshole all the time, so I kind of have this negative image of him. But it looks like their friendship is going to be torn as uh, maybe under the surface... Sam Wilson has a different way of wanting to do things than Cap did himself. A uh, different take on it. So, looks like there's going to be some conflict there. Alright, the mighty Thor and Scarlet Witch. There's been a huge boom of, like, female characters coming out and popularity amongst female readers and stuff. There's always been a bit, like, sort of this unstated female readership, but it's nice that they're actually being acknowledged now and you're getting a lot of good titles uh, aimed towards female readers. Uh, not to say, like, this Thor run's been really good. Uh, as a male, I've enjoyed it quite a bit. So just because it's about a female doesn't mean it's strictly aimed at female readers. But it's nice to see sort of strong female characters taking center stage a lot more. And Scarlet Witch. So Jason Aaron's still on um, on the Thor book. James Robinson is on Scarlet Witch. So I'm not sure what he's done. I've heard that name before, but I'm not sure. Uh, sorry, I'm not going to artists too much because I'm more of a story guy. So I, I tend to pay more attention to artists, to writers than artists, but uh, I'll try to mention them if there's someone I notice. What else? More Miss Marvel. That's been a really great s series. Uh, Willow Wilson, she's been the one who's been on it since the beginning, so that'll be good to keep watching that. It's fun. She's kind of like very much uh, a lot of, similar to what early Spider-Man, I think what a lot of people like about Spider-Man is that she's sort of the young kid, the new kid on the block, figuring things out. She's a big fan. She's sort of a fangirl slash superhero, so... Uh, been a good series and illuminati number one by josh williamson i'm not sure what that is 
That looks like uh, the hood, that Brian K. Vaughn character, maybe. Uh, so I've never read that series. It's one I've been always looking out and I can't find it. And for Hawkeye, it looks like continuing the Hawkeye story. That's been really good with Kate Bishop there. Maybe they, it looks like they have a bit of a rivalry. She's sort of taken over. I don't know if this is, uh, it looks kind of like Old Man Hawkeye, but Old Man Hawkeye was blind, I think. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Pardon the interruption, guys. Uh, I just wanted to mention something really quick because I didn't even notice it. But um, this is Ant-Man with Nick Spencer. And in the background are a bunch of characters from Superior Foes of Spider-Man, which was a series I really loved. Uh, and it had big cult following. I think people who read it really enjoyed it. But it got dropped because the readership just wasn't that high. So looks like Ant-Man's going to be, Scott Lang Ant-Man's going to be teaming up with uh, some of the superior foes of Spider-Man. So uh, that writing and art was so great on that. So I'm definitely adding this to my buy list. All right, the Vision and Contest of Champions. So the Vision's the Vision, I guess. Uh, should be okay. I'm, a lot of these kind of series, I don't know if they'll go longer than five or six issues. I wish they'd just call them minis. Generally what they do is they have an arc or two set up and if it's not popular, it just gets dropped. Uh, this Contest of Champions, there was an old series in the 80s uh, that sort of, put all the the different Marvel heroes against each other and stuff so it looks like that's going to be uh, a, a redo of that so that could be an interesting book just sort of it's always fun to see the different Marvel characters go head to head and see how they use their powers together or differently all right Dan Slott on Amazing Spider-Man so yeah same old same old uh looks like Giuseppe Kem Kemantoli, so Italian artist, looks like uh, Ramos may be done, I don't know, uh, you think his name would be on there. Uh, Carnage, number one, so be, some people will like Carnage, I think Carnage can be a fun character. Uh, really cool cover there, I like that with the sort of painting with light style. Uh, so I don't know, after Axis, he was kind of a good guy in that, so I don't know if he, I can't remember how it finished, if he sort of remained good a little bit, uh, and they're going to try and go the hero route with him. I guess they've changed all the, the origin of the symbiotes. If you haven't heard so the the symbiotes are sort of this planet that has this mission for good and there can be corrupted by uh the people that they sort of inhibit so with uh Cleus cassidy being such like a messed up serial killer it totally corrupted that symbiote so maybe i think the venom one got cured so maybe uh carnage could do the same uh spider woman number one pregnant so interesting sort of take on the character it's funny there was a lot of reaction to this picture like people just appalled that the the moral the moral issue with being a superhero while you're a pregnant mother like i think the image is just to show where she's at i'm sure they will handle it responsibly uh she's not going to be putting too many people in danger but you know when you have a baby on the line it sort of creates that excitement and that tension and that thrill that there there's really something to lose if you have a problem so uh, it'll be interesting to see what that takes and again uh, i think they're seeing their demographics as it's not comics aren't really aimed at kids too much anymore they're aimed at guys like guys and girls like my age 25 to 35 36 so yeah like parents uh families with kids and stuff like that because we're the only ones who can afford it these days they're so pricey i'm definitely going to pick up this one Again, not all new, not all different, really. Uh, the Spider-Man number one, so that'll be the ultimate Spider-Man. And I've really liked his run. I'm not a huge Bendis fan, but he's done a really good job with this book. Uh, so excited to see where that continues to go. Again, not all different, not all new at all. <laughs> but it's okay. These should be called most or some different, some new. A lot of them the same. Again, Silk number one, Spider-Gwen. We just said they're on, both on issue five when they got ended or whatever so they did say like don't worry we will continue these series after the event because a lot of people were like why would i pick this up they're gonna they're gonna throw the whole universe in the air and who knows what's gonna be there they're, so they're continuing on i'm amazed that silk is still around with the popularity of spider gram they're kind of similar so uh, i guess there's enough interest in two female spider characters i thought it'd be kind of a war of who would be more popular and they'd stick with the more popular one assuming it was going to be Spider-Gwen, uh, but I guess Silk is holding on, so good for her. All right, Spider-Man 2099. Uh, I'd really like to have a really good Spider-Man 2099 series. I've read a few of them, and they're never great. They're never bad. Like, the, the recent ones was okay, but uh, it's never been really, really blow my mind great. Uh, and Web Warriors, so kind of continuing the Spider-Verse, I guess. They're really trying to build up all these Spider characters. I think it sort of takes away from the main Spider-Man guy, but... 
he's popular so what do you do i think it was superior foes of spider-man they're like they had they pat posted a whole letter by him but he's an ultimate fighter so it'll be fun to see him writing uh a, a sort of ultimate fighting in the marvel universe book and colin bunn i guess is there to just help him as the guy who knows comics howard the duck continuing on it's hilarious how popular he's become lately i i, I can understand why he is kind of a funny goofy character didn't really like him. He had the team up in uh, one of the Secret Wars, the Battle World book with uh, Blade. Uh, some of the jokes fell kind of flat for me, but yeah, it was all right. Chip Zdarsky on there still. So. Nova and St Nova and Star Lord. So it looks like uh, what's his name? S Alexan Sam Alexander and uh, Richards, something Richards. Uh, looks like they're getting together, father and son or whatever. I don't know. If, I haven't been following any of the Nova stories, so I don't know their relationship, but. It says family business, so I'm assuming there's some relationship. So I love father-son storylines. Like, there's something really powerful about that. So I actually might pick that up. We'll see. And Star-Lord, I guess, is going solo as an astronaut. Venom Space Knight. So Venom out in space. I really liked uh, the Agent Venom storyline by Rick Remender. Would love to see more of that, but uh, he's done on there. So uh, I don't know what this is going to be like. He's been in Guardians and stuff. I haven't really been reading it. But my, a friend of mine says it's really great, so this will be continued. He sort of fits, I guess, because of this new idea, like I was saying about the symbiotes. They're going through space. They're supposedly help, like a force for good in the universe. So I guess he's sort of taking on that role now. And the Howling Commandos of S.H.I.E.L.D. Like, this looks like a lot of fun, too. I'm excited to see what that is. I think, I know a lot of people quite interested in this book. Uh, that's Frank Barbier. I don't know how you say it, Barbier. Uh, so I don't know him. I've heard that name, but I don't know what he's written. But yeah, I'm going to try this one out. Hopefully it's really good. Monsters with S.H.I.E.L.D. just seems like a really fun combo to me. Uh, Angels, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I guess this is continuing on from the current series. I've been reading because it it's Mark Wade, and I really like it. Uh, even though I've never seen the show, I don't really care about the show. The book's been pretty great. I'll probably drop it uh, with this once Mark Wade's off it, though. Uh, and Uncanny and Humans. So continuing on with Black Bolt and Medusa and all these guys. Karnak and Angela Asgard's Assassin. So Angela could be a cool book. Uh, she obviously came over from the Spawn universe. And I guess she's sort of someone connected to more Thor Thor's universe. She's some sort of angel of death or something. She was in, I think she appeared in the Ultron book, but I don't know much about how, what her role is in this world. Cause in the Spawn book, she's like an angel. But Karnak, I have no idea who that is. Feel free to fill me in. It's Warren Ellis on that Karnak book, so he's not bad. Yeah, Squadron Supreme number one. I have no idea who any of these characters are. Uh, this looks like... Uh, buddy, what's his name? The guy who can't go outside. Uh, bah, I forget. Um, <laughs> Extraordinary X-Men. You got Ramos on there. Looks like Old Man Logan's joining the team. So, okay, fine. Oh, Nightcrawlers. I'm always down with Nightcrawlers, so that's good. Uh, and we got Uncanny X-Men, you got Phantom X in there, looks like Psylocke maybe, Magneto leading the team, so that's kind of cool. I'm amazed they haven't brought Professor X back yet. Um, all new X-Men number one, so I guess this is continuing on with the young crew. Uh, road tripping fun, silly looking book. Deadpool number one, gotta have a Deadpool book. If it's, uh, it's been bi-monthly at four bucks, and what they've been doing is one silly book, one more story-oriented book. So that annoyed me because I never really liked the silly book that much. Half the time it was, it sort of fell flat. So if they go to monthly, I'll pick it up. But if they kind of keep the same system, then I will probably just leave it. Uh, yeah, Jerry Dugan's the guy who's been on it for a while with another guy, but he looks like he's not in there, so... I don't know who writes the funny one and who writes the serious one. So, like I said, not a ton of all new, all different stuff, but some, and they're definitely trying to mix up and experiment with the characters and things like that. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any big noticeable characters missing. Uh, Thor himself, like male Thor, doesn't seem to have a book. I haven't seen him anywhere. No, I think they got most of their bases covered there. So, a lot of Avengers books still, which is kind of annoying. I don't know if they're going to have like more than this, or this is just going to be it. Because uh, even though it seemed like a lot going through, that's really not much when you look at the rack and how many books Marvel puts out. So that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching, and let me know what you think. Um, just wanted to do a quick rundown. Let you know how I was thinking of picking up and add to my pull list. If I'm around, I might be gone. Uh, training, so we will see. So thanks, guys, and take care.